Laura Stapp, is a senior consultant at Kate's Kessler Organization Consulting in Portland, Oregon. She also held the role of Director of Americas at Intel's Consulting Services. She spoke with us at a recent Strategic Capability Network event in Toronto about building the internal organization design capability within HR. Why is organizational design so important for HR? I think HR uh, often has an, uh, an obvious role to play in solving kind of people problems. And I would say that's our comfort zone. But I think at the, if, if an HR wants to be a more strategic partner, uh, if it brings expertise to the table around how to help the business organize itself to deliver on the strategy, it has an opportunity to add more value. And because we're seen as the people people, it's not too hard to jump over the bridge and say, well, we're also the organization people. You know, we're not just about individuals or how individuals get along. We're also about how the organizational system works. Can you explain what organizational design changes occurred at Intel? Really, our story started when we um, were coming out of a significant set of cost cutting with HR. So we had a couple of years where we did significant reductions in HR, about 40% about of our headcount we had to reduce. That led us to a couple of years where we were really focused on delivering core HR services very well. Um, however, at, at that same time, kind of a couple of years in, we had our leadership team thinking to themselves, have we, have we stepped back too far from our position as strategic partners to the business? And that then led to a conversation at the HR leadership team level around the question of how we should be adding strategic value and whether we were or not, as well as what, what they really wanted to do with org development as a piece of our function. Ultimately, that conversation led to reframing our own question about org development to being a, a discussion around what problems we wanted to help the business solve. That then led us to the development of a simple model for, those, for, for thinking about those problems um, that had four parts. You know, we knew we wanted to focus on strategy and playing a role in the st strategy process, even if it was just facilitative. Um, knowing we wanted to step forward and add more value around the issue of org design, how to help leaders design their organization to deliver strategy. How to then help leaders lead change. So if they were gonna do something new with the organization, how could they lead the organization through that change? And behind it all, we knew we needed really good assessment and diagnosis skills. Those four buckets ended up creating kind of a simple framework that we then built learning programs around tools um, that were available on the web, as well as a cadre of folks who were kind of experts in various areas that could then help other HR people learn. What are some benefits to getting organizational design right? The benefit to HR of investing in org design capability is, I think, um, being able to play a more pivotal and maybe interesting role as a partner to the business. So it, it creates, a, um, creates a conversation between the HR partner and the leader that's, more, that's quite substantive and feels really relevant. So you, know, you often hear HR people talking about um, how to be more relevant, how to get a seat at the table, how to be influential. You know, you bring, you bring some real ammo, you know, to the situation and they'll, they'll want to talk to you, right? They'll be inviting you in. So it's about creating pull from the business for you to be there versus trying to sort of push your way in. So I think there's some real value to HR partners professionally um, from a challenge perspective, uh, from a value perspective, just feeling like they're adding value. Lots of benefits. To the business, you know, I think there's a huge benefit by uh, really approaching org design not as a back of the napkin activity, but as, a, as, a, as much of a disciplined business practice as, they, as financial budgeting is, or as developing a strategic marketing plan is. They should approach their organizations with the same care and discipline that they do the other aspects of their business. But our fault is we haven't always given them the tools to do it. So the benefit to the business is that there, there is a methodology. If they use the methodology, they'll probably get better results. If they use the methodology, they might get there quicker. So, you know, I, there's a lot of benefits to the business for, for spending a little bit of time investing in building some org design capability. They're going to have to do it anyway, right? So why not do it well? <laughs>